let me start with something that I think most people um, will have a firm grasp on that's not so esoteric, which is sort of the idea of, of CAC and, and lifetime value, right? So Great. I think those are pretty core concepts to most people who are focused on e-commerce, especially subscription e-commerce. Um, and the CAC side of the world, we've done a lot of work on as an industry, right? Everyone sort of is very focused on ad spend and attribution and understanding how much I'm spending on my ads. In the LTV side of the world, you know, there's been some work that's done, but not quite as much. So I think a lot of people come from a place where they're looking at um, ROAS numbers and things like that, that are really what we're talking about when you're talking about ROAS or ROI typically is the revenue that's generated from a certain customer. But when we talk about lifetime value of a customer and really understanding what they're worth to your business, you kind of have to go beyond revenue and start trying to get to some notion of, of profit broadly. <clears throat> and so what we, you know, focused on and what we believe is the right way to calculate LTV is actually not to look at the revenue that's generated by a customer, but to look at the, what we call the contribution profit, right? Which is, let's say you have a, you sell sweatshirts for a hundred dollars, right? So you sell it to the customer at a hundred dollars. Let's say it costs you $50 to make that sweatshirt before you do anything else. So right away, you're down to, to 50 bucks that you've made off that customer after you take out the cost of goods sold. And now you've got to ship it to them. You've got to pay the, your 3PL to pick, pack and fulfill. You've got to uh, pay the 2.9% the for Shopify and you know whatever VIG you're paying on recharge or wherever else. And so how much do you actually have left that you can contribute to spending on a new customer paying your overhead, paying your salary and sort of doing that. Right. And so that math is, is finance math really. Right. We call that contribution margin. You're, you're working your way down the, the profit and loss or the income statement to get to that number. And so that's really the first big piece that we're helping a lot of companies with is figure out, okay, what is that actual true contribution mm -hmm. profit per customer or per purchase? And that's where you have to really start to get a true sense of, of lifetime value.